Hi everyone, greetings. Welcome to the channel and uh, welcome to the success story. Today I have Sri Lakshmi with me. I'm very excited, very proud. She is currently working as a data scientist or I should say data specialist with InnoData Techs. And uh, her career transformation should be a motivational story for a lot of people who are coming from non-programming or non-IT background. Welcome Sri Lakshmi to the show and thank you for accepting the invitation and joining us today. Hi, hi Sharad, good evening, good evening, hi all. And I'm very excited for this program and like I was given an opportunity for this success story and I'm very happy for that. Thank you, this is Digit MG for giving me uh, an opportunity for, for YouTube Live. So coming to yeah. myself, my time. So coming yeah, to so, my direction, yes sir. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so Sri Lakshmi, uh, let, 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 me, let me ask you, on, uh, what, what is your education background and what is your past work experience before you actually transformed your career into a data scientist? So coming to my education background, I completed my BTEC, mask, BTEC and MTEC from Andhra University. Basically, I'm from EC department, Electronics and Communications. And coming to my experience, I have more than six, seven years of experience as an assistant professor. So basically, I'm from academic background. Wow, wow, wow. So the, the, your story should be a motivational story for a lot of people, especially women who feel that the career breaks are there or are coming from a non-programming background or coming from a teaching background. Um, for all those people, right, you, you should be an inspiration. Thank you so much really to, to be that idol and be that inspirational story for a lot of people. So you, you, you're basically coming from a non-IT or I should say uh, academic background that to an EC background, electronic and communication background. How did you end up getting interested into the data related world or data science related world? What, what triggered the idea of you to pursue data science? Yes, exactly, sure, uh, Sharon. So my journey towards this data science started from when I joined, uh, joined means like when I started my term, it's like I joined for PhD in K University. As of now, I'm pursuing my PhD in Kale University. So while I was researching for the latest topics, because I love doing research. So in the due process, like uh, I came across, like I can, like I wanted to merge my AC, means like uh, I just want to combine, integrate my AC with the data science because that would be kind of innovative kind of a thing. I wanted to do experiment. I wanted to take a try, but I was having a like I don't have a knowledge on data science. I used to think uh, like I'm not I'm not from a CSE background, so how can I pursue this data science course? So one of my friends suggested means like uh, uh, he suggested that it is very easy. It's not like uh, it's not like other languages, but you can go with the Python. So then, then uh, I started my journey. Means I came across six digit energy, and here I got trained and as a data scientist here. So in the due process of time. That really helped me. It uh, I was able to build up the confidence uh, when I was going through the process. Means each whenever each each and every model I was completing, I was getting a certificate on that, and each model is getting over. I gained my again experience, and it really helped me a lot. I felt very happy, and I was given real real time projects also here. So we used to work on the projects. We used to enjoy the projects because. See, in generally, like uh, compared to other companies where they'll be getting just a capstone project, but here we used to deal with the real time data and all, and it's really fun. I can say, it's like you can, at the same time, I used to balance my uh, research project also. Great, great. So, that, that experience uh, you should cherish, and uh, that we are happy that that experience actually helped you with respect to your career transformation. Um, a follow up uh, on that uh, point, uh, you're currently pursuing your PhD and you're doing theses. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure theses would include a lot of analytics. So how, how does this analytics, the new found interest in, in data science and the new skills that you have uh, learned, um, basically helping you with respect to the thesis that you are doing? Maybe you might want to throw some light on that. Exactly, sure. Like, uh, yes. The work what I'm doing here is really helpful. See, uh, like uh, what I what I've learned in 360 and also the, what what I mean learn as of now when I'm working in analytics, it's really helping me. 
as of now, like we are working in the gener generative AI. So what I have done is I wanted to integrate my LIDARs with the chain AI. So in this process, like it is like uh, I'm 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 going across new things and coming across new technologies day by day. And it's really like I'm feeling very happy and I feel like I want to work even for more than 10 to 12 hours in a day. I can go with the research work and it's really uh, I want to integrate what I'm mostly. We can see that uh, this at a, whether you're talking about AI or data science, it can be integrated. Now, it's not only pertain only to CSC department. It is like we can integrate it to any department. It's applicable anywhere. Whether if you take EC, if you're taking mechanical, it's applicable anywhere. So yeah. I want I want to go with the Gen AI. I want to integrate my lighters with the Gen AI. So wonderful. that's what is my plan. Wonderful, wonderful. So yeah, like you mentioned, uh, Shri Lakshmi, data science is something which is not specific to any domain. It is it is agnostic to any domain. And uh, you rightly pointed out that, uh, right, it is implemented in all the walks of life. Uh, we just have need to see if there is a digital data getting generated for any business scenario or any any general case. And if we have data, we can perform analytics. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Wonderful. So good luck with your thesis, uh, Sri Lakshmi. And I, I, I and we from 360 Digital, Digit Angie, wish all the best with your career. And uh, right, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to work with you um, again. And uh, right. Uh, yeah, we should we should uh, try and build a very strong community of data scientists with uh, right uh, uh, with the aim of building nation. And uh, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your uh, um, story and, and right inspiring a lot of young women, young people to to uh, take serious note in their uh, careers. Thank you, chairs, and uh, right. Looking forward to work uh, with you. Uh, opportunity, and yeah, I want to add one point here. Like uh, just uh, before, see, like uh, what I have observed is many of the women. What as of now they are facing is like they are having some career gaps in between. So when I when I was facing interviews also, only one thing what is going to make means like crack the interviews have the confidence. That's the first thing. And whatever knowledge you have, just put everything, means like put everything on the paper and pen and paper. And next is make your hands dirty as much as possible in the coding. These three things will help you. Then and if even you have a three or four years of gap, you can you can justify your you're able to justify your own answer. Means like maybe because of some marital issues, or maybe like maybe you have got some uh, kids to look after. So this career gap is not much of a concern, but if you have the confidence, you can crack an interview and you can get into a job as a data scientist. But this is what is I want to give a suggestion. So that's what yeah, yeah, my real time experience means my experience. Yeah, yeah, definitely, Sri Lakshmi. That is something that a lot of women do face um, because of the kids and marriage commitments. Um, right? Unfortunately, that's how the status. Uh, with that woman, uh, there's no life, right? So. You have uh, to don multiple hats, right? mother, wife, caretakers. So yeah, can your gaps do happen? And you rightly pointed out, you have confidence, you have skills, then you will definitely will be able to stand back into the career uh, lines. Um, once once you are ready with, with your uh, uh, right the decision, then yeah, definitely. And 360 Digital MG is always there to support people who are really serious about their careers Whatever we could, we can do from our side. We would definitely try and assist all people who have the career aspirations. Thank you once again, Sri Lakshmi, and uh, thank you for sharing that very important point for the women. And uh, cheers. Good luck. Good luck with your uh, career aspirations. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. Take care. Bye.